I'm John Prendergast. You've got to fight for human rights. Well, I was 20 years old, 21 years old, sitting on my in my Lazy Boy chair, and on the screen suddenly pops these images. They were images of the Ethiopian famine that was unfolding, and I saw those pictures and I, I was blown away. And I resolved right then that I would at least do what I could, so I decided to go. And that's when I saw the, 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 the worst effects of U.S. foreign policy in Africa. Part of what we were doing back in the 1980s was actually fueling the crises that I was watching on my television screen. In the 1990s, there were terrible wars in West Africa that were fueled by diamonds that we were purchasing. But once we learned about it, once the, the world said, okay, we're not gonna buy diamonds that are producing conflict and, and, and atrocities anymore, those wars ended. And we helped bring about peace in three different countries, in Sierra Leone and, and Liberia and Angola, directly from actions by average Americans. And there's a, there's a movement now today uh, rooted in this organization called Invisible Children, which focuses on the abducted children that have become child soldiers uh, in Central Africa. And there's literally a million kids who have signed up all over the United States who are working on trying to bring an end to that crisis. We have the capacity to alter the future of this country as well as people's lives around the world with our actions. The Enough Project aims to create a world at some point in which genocide, in which massive crimes against humanity no longer exists.